What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video that we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking about a new feature coming because the search function is now ready for v3.0.0. So this is a carryover feature that they're going to be doing. Basically, without making it complicated, because I know I'm going to see videos that overcomplicate this, I'm going to tell you exactly how this works and, you know, you don't need to panic about it or anything like that. But essentially, all you're going to do is when you launch this, you will be able to see what players will carry over into V3.0, okay? So I reckon that as the way that they've worded this, it says you can now search for players and managers eligible for the V3.0.0 carryover process on the official website. This process is planned to take place during the large scale maintenance in August, okay? So we, gar we, we know that we're going to be getting one more update and then probably the big large update to, you know, to transfer, transform the game and update and upgrade the game from this season, which, you know, you have Mason Mount still at Chelsea and Declan Rice still at West Ham, to the new season transfers where Mason Mount is at Manchester United, Bellingham is at Real Madrid, Rice is at Arsenal, and so on and so forth, um, with their standard cards all upgraded and updated, okay, and all the transfers done. Please check player cards eligible for carryover and managers eligible for carryover on their respective web pages. Head to the website below for more details, okay? So then it gives you two websites. We're actually going to go over here to the actual website itself on our PC, and we're going to we're going to show you a couple of bits and pieces, right? So the first thing is people are going to ask, what players won't be carried over? What players will I not be able to use, right? So this is something that I think people are probably going to want to know most, right? So if you go into your team here, and I'm going to show you very quickly a good example of it. If you go into your team here and you sort your squad by order of signing, okay? Um, with a player that has an X beside his name, so compared comparing Inzaghi to Vieira, right? These are players I got on day one. When I first downloaded the game and I first played Dream Team, before I'd even started the match, these were the players that I would have either got as legendary rewards or else um, I would have bought from the GP market, such as Corona, Armonain, or Donnarumma, okay? Um, Timber's in there as well. And then we had the special cards, you know, that we would have got, like Vritz and, um, you know, Maradona, Pique, all of those, okay? As long as the player has a tick beside, or as long as the player has a contract and doesn't have an X beside his name, so if you look at Vieira, Vieira has got 25 days left on his duration of contract, but Inzaghi has got zero, right? All of these cards are going to carry over, but if you want to play with them, if you want to actually play events or you want to play divisions, you do have to have them in contract, right? So that's number one. This doesn't really impact that, right? The second thing is, if you are carrying over player, right, and we want to take a look, essentially what you have to do is go over to the actual website and say, right, we want to have a look at Patrick Vieira here, and we want to see if he's going to carry over. So let's have a look. We type in his name, and then we go down to the bottom. We say, okay, Epic, Legendary, and, and uh, these two versions here are the Patrick Vieira that we're looking at, okay? Now, there is one difference that I will that I will show you, right? If you take a look on the database, right, and we take a look at Patrick Vieira here, you will see that there's multiple versions of Vieira, right? So there's five versions there. Now, these versions have kind of changed a little bit since eFootball 22 to eFootball 23, and they're going to be changing again with V3.0, right? So as I said here, you've got two cards here, two Patrick Vieiras. One is the Epic Arsenal one, and the other is the Legendary France one, okay? Now you will notice that there's two Legendary edition here of, of Patrick Vieira. One of these was a carryover card. They're the identical cards. You will see that Vieira, this one has a purple background with Lighten. This one has, has got nothing. He's got plain uh, uh, background at the, uh, at the back of the card, okay? With 15 levels here and 10 levels here on the legendary one. Then you have the epic one, you also have this legendary one, and you also have this big time one, right? So the cards here that we're looking at, right, the cards that we're looking at, there just seems to be two cards, which is the legendary and the epic, that are going to be carried over. The rest of them won't be. So that's probably the easiest way of looking at it, right? To show you an even better example, if we take a look at a card that I really rated at the start of the game, was a guy called Nkunku, who signed for Chelsea. He scored the other day, actually. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I bought this guy way back, right? Way back when um, he was absolutely beastly in the game. His standard card was insane. Um, and he was just such a good player. He's still in contract for me, but you cannot buy this card in the game because his team, uh, Leipzig, who he's after transferring from to Chelsea, were not in the game. They're not in as a fake team. They're not in anywhere, right? So Nakunku was actually not in the game from the club perspective. He was only in the game because he was playing with the Fran France national team. And when he got injured, that obviously went away, right? Now, if you take a look here, 
we will notice that this Nakunku card is the standard version of the card, right? And you will also notice that when we search for him here on the actual website for, that Konami have, you will notice that the players available in V3.0 to be carried forward, there's only one version of him. When we go to the database here, you'll see that there's two versions of him. You have the standard card, which I had and which I just showed you just there now, this one. And you also have the French pack, which I didn't get. This was a premium French pack that you could buy. As you see there, it was a French pack that you could buy for coins. This is the one that's going to be carried over, this highlight French pack here, okay? Um, which is going to be the affiliated team with the highlight card, which is this one. So this version of Nakunku, for me, isn't going to carry over. It's not going to carry over at all. Now, what this basically means is that when they do this V3.0 update, there is going to be a new Nakunku card for Chelsea. So this will be replaced with no affiliated team to being for Chelsea, with a Chelsea background and Chelsea whatever, like all the graphics there of the club or whatever, right? So he'll be down as a Chelsea player, he'll be an original standard card Chelsea player. But this card, if you already have it, that will carry over. So that's probably the best way of doing it. Now, another thing to look at, right, is one of my favorite players in the game um, that I played with and I still play with regularly is Makalele. So when you are searching for this, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. Be careful with how you spell the names, right? So for example, if we just search here and take no special characters into consideration, we will have no player with that found. So it's like panic stations. Oh, Makalele isn't going to carry over, okay? But if we actually search for him properly, we will see here that we do have him, okay? If you do put the little apostrophe in, and we can see that we do have uh, Makalele here, right? So as I said, just to show you again, if we search for Makalele as, you know, normal spelling with no special characters, you won't have anything found. And if you search him with special characters, you will. This rings true as well for the likes of Ibrahimovic. If you were to search for Ibrahimovic like this, and you're just thinking, right, Ibrahimovic isn't coming forward. But if you search for him like this, you will see that he is there. Three different versions of him. The feature, the highlight, and the standard. So just make sure that you type the name exactly how it is. It's not a really a big deal, lads, because I think 90% of the cards that they do remove, you are still going to be able to sign them for their, either their new club or a special edition of them will probably come in the future, right? So it's more so just to kind of clear it up. Even the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Cristiano Ronaldo is down. He's got multiple cards where he's with, he's with Manchester United in this game, right? But if we search for Ronaldo here, you will see that all his cards are actually going to be carried over. His featured, his highlight, his legendary, his highlight, his trending, and his standard, which is unaffiliated. So that's kind of a different thing, is that Nakunku is going to a new club, so they're not carrying over his standard, non-affiliated, no-club version of him. But they'll probably have an upgraded or a very, very identical um, Nakunku standard card with his standard Chelsea card. So yeah, I hope that answers any questions, lads. It's the same for the managers then as well. If you want to take a look at the managers, that's the same thing. You just search for the name it with the managers here. So for example, if I'm having a look at Ripa, who was one of my players, or else I'm having a look at Valbuena, who is uh, Cristo Valbuena, which is Diego Simeone, he's going to carry over. So just type in the manager that you want and it will see there. So that is it for me, lads. Any questions, get in touch in the comments below. I'll be back later. Peace.